Because it's about 8.30, 8.45, the fourth day, the morning of the fourth day. I dropped everybody off this morning, and we only got one truck up here. So the spot I'm in, I would have either had to get in about 3 o'clock and be sitting for a couple hours, well before daylight, or I needed to come in 8, 9 o'clock and let them get bedded up. I'm right on the bottom side of a bedding area. I'm kind of expecting to be setting up within within 60 to 80 yards max of where that buck's bedding. So I didn't want to, the way he was, after looking at it last night at camp, the way he was working kind of southeast and then Jay hooking back into that bedding area, that was kind of where I was coming in. So I rode down this morning, about a mile and a half down the road, I found another parking spot. I'm coming in another way. That way I could stay downwind the whole time. Where I had parked yesterday, <clears throat> I'll cross that uh, scrape line. So I didn't really want to come in like that. Because if he's working it, he's going to be coming down that scrape line more than likely. Working that bedding area. It got down to about 46 degrees last night. Felt good. It's about 52 degrees right now. But it's supposed to get colder tonight. <clears throat> I think about 41, 42. It's been the first... Uh, chilly night we've had all right well, i'm gonna turn this camera off get up in the saddle i got about a three quarters of a mile to walk maybe a mile but it's gonna be a way better access point all right see y'all in a tree well i said i was gonna turn the camera off but i just came up on this fresh grape he's slinging it must be three and a half feet over there he's getting amped up i'll tell you that cold weather's got him amped up and that was fresh. That was from last night. That was after all that rain. So either last night or this morning. Here's the rub right in front of me. I'm facing the bed in there. After sitting midday and not seeing any activity like I expected, I got down about three o'clock, determined to find some even fresher sign, bigger sign, and try to move in aggressively. My gut was right. Within 250 yards, I began to find an even fresher sign and a huge scrape. It didn't take long to realize this scrape was not the same deer that was laying down the small scrapes I had seen the day before. This was a big mature deer. Y'all, I can't believe this. 
so I'm standing right here and I kept hearing something coming across the road but I couldn't see him for nothing the wind was blowing right in my face and uh, and I was squatted down and I went to get back up real real easy I heard deer blow a little bit not bad bro I was up against this tree and I couldn't tell where that blow had came from and I my I had a vehicle that passed right, right on the road and not two seconds after then literally right here not five steps behind me <laughs> I had a little buck come out he wasn't sure what I was so I turned he, he starts to trot off and he walks right over here and he gets out into the road and he stops by that point I done had my bow ready and he turned broadside to me and I let it rip I let it rip and my old cousin got his he said he shot a four point I hope he's got his too well we gathered together shortly after this and searched around dirt man's spot found his arrow didn't have any blood on it found the point of impact and all we could find was white hair which was insinuating that he had shot low and just clipped the belly of the deer we searched around for 30 45 minutes trying to find some kind of blood we failed to do so so that let us know that this deer was going to make it and this is probably going to be one of those deer that lives six to seven years before getting harvested and landing on someone's wall we head over to cousin spot and immediately found a bloody arrow. Check that arrow out. What's the blood look like? That's pretty thick. Hit it, ran about about 30 feet, and then it broke the air out and it started bleeding. You got blood? Mm -hmm. Old Louisiana trick. Oh yeah. Let's see what the blue looks on it. I think it might About 20 minutes of tracking good blood the whole way to finally have a deer down in Missouri. No monster, but we're eating good tonight. Yeah, that wasn't a bad shot. A little high, huh? We're using yeah, air. No, this is the... Yeah. Oh, this is entry? Sir, got them big there. Man, congratulations. Hey, y'all. It's the beginning of day five. We're heading in here. See if we can catch the tail end of this cold front. Dirt man gave one a haircut last night. And a cousin shot him one, got him a freezer buck. So we headed back in there and see what we can get. We're starting to run out of days, so our, uh, our, our trophy line is dropping slightly. Feeling the day, Dirt man. You gonna kill one? I got two tags, a buck and a doe tag, and I'm willing to feel both of them today. Two tags to paradise. There's one right there, look, two of them. <laughs> oh, man. A doe and a yearling? I don't think that would be A buck and a doe? They're on their feet. All right, we all stay tuned, see what we get into.
Well, it's the end of day five, and that was a long sit. Sitting in that saddle all day on that scrape. Didn't see nothing. Thought I heard something in the thicket there right before dark, but never did come out. Got down, went ahead and pulled my sticks. And since I wasn't coming back in here in the morning, I went over there and looked at that scrape. And sure enough, it had been freshened up. So the only thing I can put together is maybe he's not getting here till late at night. Uh, just odd though, yesterday looked like he had hit that in the middle of the day before I got there. So I'm not sure. These big wood bucks are hard to pattern, man. They got so much food sources, so many different travel routes they can go. It's uh, definitely a lot different than hunting in South Louisiana. But it's it's been fun learning it trying to learn it i guess i'll learn it when i get a big buck on the ground <laughs> but anyways i'm going to pick up dirt man and his cousin uh, see what they got i guess go back to the camp and cook something up i think they're gonna cook a gumbo up tonight good cold weather food hey y'all welcome back to swampland outdoors it's day six of our missouri deer tour and we're headed north going to a campground, a little state park on the side of the current river. Dirt man and cousin going to try to catch some trout. Missouri trout tour. <laughs> it might as well be. We running out of time to fill our deer tags. We ain't got it yet. Yeah, this has been a, uh, definitely a public land challenge for sure. But it's been fun learning a new area. Yeah, it's new. Yeah. All right, we'll get back with you when we get get in the water or the woods. Well, we got about 40 more minutes to go to this next campground in the road. Just turn the gravel. It's gonna be a long 40 minutes. Man. Watch out for horse and buggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we're in an Amish community. Come around the curve about 60 and they had a Mustang. Oh, not a Ford Mustang. A four wheel Mustang with a horse. This is campsite number two. Day six. Hey y'all, it's uh, sixth day, about two o'clock. We just got camp set up. And, uh, Dirt man and Kuyo, I mean uh, cousin, went fishing. They're gonna try to catch some uh, rainbow trout and brown trout. This little campground we're at, they got a fishery, or a hatchery should I say. They're supposed to stock these streams, they're supposed to have a pretty good fishing right here. So they're going this evening catch some fish and I'm gonna go to a piece of public it's not Mark Twain we've been hunting the Mark Twain for us the last five days or so and uh, it's pretty hard hunting some pretty big woods so we came up straight north from where we was and there's some uh, there's a conservation land pretty much around this park and then it's no hunting in there but behind that there's some public so I'm gonna go back there and see what it looks like See if I can find some sign, maybe set up, make an evening hunt. Well, this is definitely a lot different terrain than we've been hunting. So between me and that ridge over there, there's a creek. And that's where uh, Dirt Man and Kuyong, I mean Cousin, is uh, fishing upstream. Probably about a mile. So I'm thinking, I'm either going to hunt this saddle here. Try to catch some deer coming over that saddle to the creek. Or I'm going to hunt that little flat part. That ridge comes down, it flattens out, and it drops again. It looks like a good, maybe a good travel path. I'm looking at some top of mounts. So. I'm going to shut up and turn this camera off and see if we can find some deer trails, deer sign, and see if we can put an arrow in one. Well, I finally found some sign in here. Let's see, we've been eating these briars. Focus. It won't focus, but you see how the ends are brown. It's been a while since they've been feeding in here. But it's so thick. Especially that way back towards the creek. This is a little open area here. But I just come through all that thick stuff. I'm debating on trying another spot. I'm trying to catch the edge of the woods. If I could come in from the other way, that'd be really good. I haven't seen no fresh sign, no rubs, no scrapes, nothing. So 
So I may move locations. This is the first sign I've seen here and it's old. Like kind of like CRP, and I, I figured this would be a good pinch point. I figured this would be a good pinch point. It's almost set up on it, and I'll hopefully catch something this evening coming through. Possibly even maybe bedding up in that CRP coming down to get some water. So I'm gonna follow this trail down a little bit further, and uh, if I can find like an intersection trail, a T or a Y, I'll probably set up right there. looking stuff I'm on the edge of it on the southeast side <clears throat> found two historical rubs but it doesn't look like they've been hit yet this year possibly as long as three years ago but there's a deer trail running up and down this along the edge of the CRP so I'm going to cut back along that uh, creek and try to set up more on the east southeast side that way the wind will be in my favor and hopefully come across some fresh water all right so i found a pretty good setup actually jumped up a couple does right on the edge of that crp the crp is to my left creeks to my right CRP, really thick, thick stuff behind me to the left. Where I was trying to come from, across the creek, it's like this, but just so thick, it'd be hard, it's hard to get through. And that road's on that side, that road runs down, and then there's a little spot to park back here, about a half mile back down the creek. So I parked, I had to take my pants and my boots off to walk across this creek. 
starving. 